what is going on guys brown here and welcome to my channel here today we're continuing on with the f1 my team career mode we're here in russia for part 17 coming off the back of a frustrating race in singapore if you haven't seen that i'll link it down below if you want to watch that but coming into russia and it's not a great track for racing but somehow it's always it's always good on the game it's one of those weird tracks where we see no action in real life but in the game we see some very good racing so coming towards the end of qualifying the car felt decent but I was just struggling to string a lap together and we get held up by Grosjean a bit on our final lap you can see we're actually down we managed to set a personal best in the middle sector. We're going to round the final corner. And we found a little bit of time on the exit. But it's not going to stop us from starting in P17. Absolutely dreadful. Hopefully we can improve on that in the race. And hopefully do better than we did in Singapore. So let's get Good into it. Good one and all to today's Grand Prix here in southern Russia. A beautiful location besides the Black Sea and a race that has been dominated so far by the Silver Arrows. Mercedes have won here six times in a row since the first Sochi Grand Prix in 2014. Can someone else muscle in on that record here today? Situated just three miles from the Georgian border, the 3.6 mile Sochi Autodrome has two notable overtaking opportunities into turn one and then turn 13. 18 corners in total here, 12 to the right and 6 to the left, and it's an average lap speed of around 130 miles per hour. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Vettel, Hamilton, Max Verstappen and Perez, Albon, Stroll, Ricardo and Esteban Ocon, Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, Lando Norris and Sainz, Gasly, Kvyat, Brown and Kevin Magnussen, Ireland, Grosjean, Russell and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. So it's an interesting grid and let's get into it. So five red lights, come on. It's lights out and away we go. Very long hold of the lights and Charles Leclerc gets an excellent start. And he's already passed Boutry Bottas. And now Hamilton and Vettel are going wheel to wheel. We've got a decent start. We haven't really been able to gain any places. Charles Leclerc in the lead. Bottas couldn't get him back. And now we're going to try and go round the outside of the Alfa Tori. That is of Daniel Kvyat. And now as we head through the long, long, long left-hander for the very first time, we're going to go down the inside of Sir Pierre Gasly, rather. And now we couldn't gonna get the job done as there's the Haas downer inside of Kevin Magnussen so we've only we've gained one place and now we could potentially go up to P15 as we go round the outside and we do get up into P15 and now can we get back after Gasly because the car didn't feel that bad I was just I just couldn't string a lap together going on to lap two and we've managed to close back up to the back of Pierre Gasly in his AlphaTauri so can we get close to maybe have a go into turn one but we're just a little bit too far back going through the first couple of corners that's actually turn two but the actual turn one is literally not a corner so going through into the second sector I think this is now we're still on the back of Pierre Gasly we're a little bit closer now we're on lap 2 so still no DRS enabled of course that's on lap 3 can we have a look down the inside we're going to send it down the inside of Pierre Gasly we get the job done I thought we were going to go a little bit wide on the exit but we managed not to and now we can get after the the Alfa Romeo of Kimi Raikkonen we go a little bit wide and then sneak it down his inside of the Kimster who in Italy announced his retirement from the sport and now they're free wide going through the first corner 
and Dazzy had to completely back out of that as Kimmy and Magnuson look side by side. Kimmy gets the job done. Now look at Carlos Sainz trying to get around the outside of Pierre Gasly. And now Kavia at his home Grand Prix. He's gone down the inside as well. He'll have the outside line. But Gasly gets forced out right on the inside. Sainz couldn't keep his line. And now look at Callum Eilert. Callum Eilert, our teammate, down the inside of Kevin Magnussen. Can he get the job done? Carlos has disappeared up the road, down the inside. Magnussen's still there though, can Eilert hang it round the outside? Yes, he can. But he's still... I think he might have just got the job done now, down the inside. And he has just about done it. And now skipping on all the way on to lap 7, we managed to pull away from those behind us. And now we're hunting down Lando Norris in his McLaren, a driver that he's been doing very well this season. And I am very, very interested in for next season. If, But we've, we've still got a few races left, so we'll see what Callum Eilert can do before we make that decision. Through the chicane, I just couldn't get up to the back of Lando you can see he's just keeping that gap just there and now going on to lap 11 we are going to come in to make our one and only stop onto the medium compound tyres because the, the tyre wear is pretty much non-existent in Russia you, I bet you could go if, if you were allowed to without even stopping if you started on the hards or even the medium for that matter as we come into the pits they're going to change the tyres onto the mediums they go and a 3.1 second pit stop that is slow that's pretty much a year in F1 turns wow that's two seconds slower than what Red Bull did in the last race in F1 in Turkey as this is Lando Norris going on to the hard tyres and now can we beat him out of the pits this is us going around the final corner to go on to lap 12 as Valtteri Bottas the pole sitter retires from the race Lando Norris exits the pit lane charges down back onto the track and we haven't done it you, can, you could have just seen us there coming out the background and we couldn't get Lando Norris but we have drastically closed the gap we're pr practically pushing him round there's Valtteri Bottas and this is a replay of what happened he actually managed to get the lead back then you could see the gap he'd pulled on both of the Ferraris and now he is out and a track that he always seems to go well at Bottas a race that he's got so lucky to win this year in real life in 2020 as we go down the inside of Lando Norris it was only a matter of time we were pushing him around the track I didn't think we were going to be able to catch him but we did in the end we're past the young Britishman and we can get down the road and skipping on to lap 16 and it has clouded over it wasn't meant to rain but it's it has and now going on to lap 26 onto the final lap it must have just been a lot of cloud coming over because it's back to blue skies 10 laps later Sebastian Vettel has won the Russian Grand Prix ending the Mercedes and beaten run in Russia and we're going to come home for P11 that's the end of the race we'll see you in part for me. winner pulling their Ferrari into Park Fermi. What a fantastic race it was. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I'd say it was down once again to good consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari.
Now the the race it was a very very interesting race. Unfortunately, we couldn't get points. We just one place off, but we just couldn't catch those in front of us. Here's the podium pass. This is the very first one, which a long while ago now. But Sebastian Vettel wins. I think that's his first win of the season. Um, with Hamilton second and Charles Leclerc um, fourth with Verstappen third and then Lance Stroll great result for him in fifth Perez sixth Albon seventh so he's struggling in the game as well and in the standings we're not last we're currently sitting ninth in the constructors which is decent I mean, it's our first season, you can't really expect much. We're, lo we're losing the rivalry to Pierre Gasly. We've just gone up to a claim nine. We haven't managed to get all the sponsor bonuses, but if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And come back for the next race in Japan. Goodbye.